Dad Family Farm. Today is Wednesday. Today we're down here working on this culvert that we put in. I uh, just have a little crossover to get here to this little field. Um, so we put this in, I think it was a year ago from last fall. And it's pretty good, but we want to get it a little bit more secure and a little bit more uh, heavy duty that we can run some bigger equipment across it without having to worry about it. So we went and got two power poles. One still on the tractor back there. We got one drug across already and we're gonna put these um, across it on either side just to kind of shore up a little bit and then we can build up more uh, after we get those secured. We have the backhoe down here. We're gonna dig a line across that we can put that power pole in and have it kind of not quite buried, but you know, I dug in a little bit so that it will um, be a little bit of a retaining pole on this side, then we'll do the same for the other side. And then we can build up in between that and just get it a little bit more uh, secure. We got one pole put in, so we're gonna start working on the other side now. Alrighty, things have been going well. We got both posts uh, put in the ground, so we'll continue to work on it and kind of fine tune it. But right now we are heading up for lunch. Uh, Emma's behind us in the 64 and I think Dad's gonna bring the back though. Alrighty, it's kind of windy so I hope you can hear me. But we got the poles put in. Uh, we're really happy with how it went and it's looking really good. But I think the plan is we're actually going to get two more poles tomorrow and kind of put those like beside the other poles um, just to get it, you know, as secure as it can be and just to make sure it's in really good shape so we uh, are not worried about taking big equipment across it. Uh, it's like, what time is it? Let me check here. Almost three o'clock. We're back up here now. Uh, we did afternoon chores, got milking done and all that. And now dad is getting the 44 in the disc. He's gonna disc up some in these little fields by the lean-to here. And then I think we're actually gonna be seeding these down, hopefully tomorrow if everything goes well. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to, we're hoping to get the culvert about finished tomorrow. And then if everything goes well, we'll get the seeder out and seed these two fields that dad's gonna disc up. Uh, and get that done tomorrow as well. And then we had like half an inch to an inch of rain coming in on Friday, which the rain is great, but we want to get some stuff done before the rain. So we're working on that. And uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of the disking that dad's gonna do. Dad is going to finish getting those fields disked up and I will see you guys tomorrow and we will continue working on the culvert. Hopefully get that wrapped up uh, before the rain and then if everything goes well, we'll be seeding those two fields as well. So uh, see you guys in the morning. everybody we are over here to do barn chores just got all the sheep turned out and we gave them a new hay bale yesterday so they're enjoying that i'm gonna make sure they have plenty of water and then we should be done over here and we'll head home and get started on today's work so yesterday uh, dad was disking those two little fields and we're gonna hopefully be seeding those today but he had to stop because the 44 was having fuel filter issues so uh, this morning we put a new fuel filter on the 44 and then got it fueled up and everything and it was a little bit of a job because some of those fuel filters are difficult to deal with but we got it done 
and so hopefully it'll be ready to go we can get all that finished and then uh, hopefully get those fields seeded today we're also going to be continuing work on the culvert today that's the plan uh should be a good day of work and hopefully we can get a lot done before the rain we got both power poles that we're going to be using today loaded up we're going to start heading over to the culvert with these and get to work There's a coyote over there. There's a couple coyotes making a bunch of noise trying to lure that dog down from that house up there. They've been making a bunch of noise for the past few minutes. Okay, we have both power poles down here. We got we hand dug out another section right next to the power poles on either side and we're going to try to put another one in right next to it just so it will be really uh, sturdy and yeah just get this done good so we are going to try to start uh, working the power poles into place a little bit here and hopefully it goes well Okay, here we go. Okay, we are almost finished down here. We got both holes put in on both sides and we filled in just a little bit there. But it looks really good. This should uh, be really good uh, and really good shape for use this year, which will be really nice. We're just gonna finish pressing down a little bit up there on that end, and then we're gonna head up. He's gonna come back down here with the 64 in the loader bucket and grade this dirt out and just get it kind of finished up. And this job will be about done. So uh, it's a good job to have done and it went really well and we're very happy with how it turned out. We finished up down at the culvert. Now we're working towards seeding. Dad finished disking up the fields that we're gonna be seeding uh, since we got the fuel filters fixed on the 44 this morning. So he finished getting those disks up and then he decided that we should run the Phoenix Harrow over the top of those fields before we seed. So we're gonna get the Phoenix Harrow hooked up to the 84, uh, run that over the fields, and then hopefully we'll still have enough time after that to seed. We'll see, it's gonna be kind of tight on time, but if we have to, we can do it next week. Uh, just trying to take advantage of this and get as much done as we can before the rain. So we're gonna get this hooked up and then run this over the fields. All right, we got the Phoenix Harrow hooked up. Here's the two fields. Uh, we're gonna be seeding these. I think we have some wheat and then some oats. Uh, this is gonna be a uh, pasture slash hay fields this year. Uh, we got 64 down there. We're gonna be picking up rocks uh, as dad does the Phoenix Harrow over it. And then we will get the seeder out, get it hooked up and hopefully do some seeding this afternoon as well. So we will see how this goes and how much we can get done.
finished up getting all the rocks picked up out of those fields. Um, there were quite a few and it was quite a long job and picking up rocks is probably one of my least favorite jobs on the farm but we got it done and that's a good job to have done dad went around and did some phoenix harrowing in all the places that we're going to be seeding so now we're going to get the seeder hooked up to the 64 and start working towards actually getting some seeding Okay, we blended some wheat and grass and we got dad started in the seeder with that. So dad and Lemuel are down uh, seeding the little field with that. And then we had four bags of grass seed. It's like a grass blend. And then two different, four bags of two different kinds of oats. So we laid it all out here and blended uh, eight different bags of seed. Got it all blended up and then rebagged so it's ready for whenever dad needs to reload. Uh, right now, I'm gonna go down there to where they're seeding uh, and be ready to get on the back of the seeder just to keep an eye and let him know when he's getting low on seed and all that. And yeah, hopefully it goes well. Uh, I think they haven't stopped yet. So uh, that means nothing uh, severely broken yet. So hopefully we can get this done. It's starting to really get cloudy and uh, we're supposed to get rain starting. I actually don't know when, but sometime this afternoon. So hopefully the rain will hold off a little bit longer so we can get our seeding done. And then uh, hopefully we get a lot of rain. Mama came out and helped us with bagging out the seed a little bit. Um, and now her and Emma and Eliza are going to do afternoon chores. We've got milking done and seeding is going. Okay, the seed is looking good. We're not going through it too fast or anything. We actually need to open it up a little bit more. So he's going to go over this whole thing once and then open it up a little bit more and go over it a second time, I think, this plan. But it's starting to rain, which is not great. So not sure how long we can go with this or if we'll get rained out, what will happen, but we'll see. We have our audience, adorable little Bossy. Bossy is like the cutest milk cow ever. And Buckshot. Hey, Bossy. So cute. Hi, Bossy. Can you say hi to me? How are you? Yes. What a good little cow. Yes, you are. Good 
girl bossy. Alrighty, we, it is now, I don't know what time it is, Ooh, it's 5.10, I'm extremely tired, we all are, it's been a long day, and <laughs> we've done a lot of work today, but we are back here at this little field uh, to finish seeding this, we went and did a waterway, we're going to do this field and then another waterway, and then I think that's it, but it's going well, um, the rain has held off a bit here. So hopefully we'll be able to get this finished and then go inside and eat supper because it's been a long day and I'm tired. So as you can tell, our whole crew here is like very enthusiastic and full of energy at this Heck point yeah. in the day. Yeah, we're all kind of tired, but tomorrow it's going to be rainy, so we should have a bit of a day off, which will be nice. Mm -hmm. We each will take a mile to get this seating finished and we're all in a good day. <laughs> All right, we're down here at our last spot. This is the waterway south of the pond here that we disked in like a video or two ago. Um, and now we're getting it seated down. So we're gonna get this finished up and this should be it. Okay, we are done. It, it turned out really well. And now we're gonna take this up, get the equipment put away, unhook the seeder and get the machine sheds closed up and we will be done for the day. It's about six o'clock right now, so not bad. Alrighty, we got the cedar unhooked, put away, and dad's just back in the 64 into the machine shed, and we're heading in. So, that is going to be it for this video. We'll see what the rain does tonight. Hopefully, we get a nice, big, easy, slow rain with a lot of rain. That <laughs> would be nice. We'll see what happens, though. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we will see you next time.